Hello, this is Matt Pullen, and I'm making this video to document a project that I'm working on. I'm using uh, Adobe Flash CS3 and a studio program I downloaded uh, called the Flash Develop. is uh, is very excellent. Um, so let, let's see what this is. I'm just going to test using the uh, the built-in Flash player. So it'll take a second. My computer is being slow right now for some reason. No! Speed up. All right, here we go. So click Start button. This is um, the engine for a uh, tile-based RPG or uh, role-playing game. Uh, I wanted to uh, sort of create the uh, you know, look and feel of a 16-bit RPG. Um, so yeah, I mean, n none of these graphics will be used. You know, if if I turn this into a fi into a uh, final game, I mean, they're all ripped from you know the internet. But I mean, I just wanted to uh, show you know the code I'm working on. I, I did all the code for this from scratch. Um, uh, the uh, the screen is uh, 11 by 11 tiles. Each tile is 50 by 50 pixels. Uh, the character, when you, you push the arrow keys, he moves uh, a pixel every four milliseconds, and he always stops on the center of a tile. So just like the old, uh, you know, tile-based Final Fantasy RPGs were. Um, if if you're in a, a screen and a screen is really big, it'll scroll. It it will always try to keep the uh, player in the center of the screen if possible. Uh, if you move off of the screen. It will go to it. It will load in another screen. Uh, so each edge is automatically connected to the screen uh, that's defined, uh, you know, adjacent to it. And I've set up these uh, uh, door tiles, like this water tile here is a door. You can walk into it, and it'll take you to an arbitrary point, you know, on another screen. Uh, so yeah, this um, I, I don't have any specific plans to make a game out of this right now. I'm just I'm just working on the engine. Um, this uh, I got a lot of work done in the last four days, uh, significant work done. So I, I just want to make a video to you know, sort of show what's going on here. Um, yeah, I mean these uh, these graphics are you know essentially lifted from the internet. I, I didn't make any of these graphics, and if I ever turn this into a uh, you know a full scale flash RPG game, which I would like to do, I would uh, I would like get someone else to design the. Uh, know the graphics and maybe provide music and I don't even know what the story of this game would be. It's it's just an engine, you know, something that I'm working on. And uh I'm pleased with it so far. Um the let's let's dive in and look at you know some of the code. Here's uh here's the code. I got all these uh functions. Sort I sort of divide my functions and you know give them like names. It's like these are functions related to displaying, you know, um, objects or layers on the screen. Um, sorry, constants. Um, here is uh, you know preloader functions, title screen functions, uh, world functions. that is you know relating to the data in the world. Uh, let's see, what, what did I want to show here? Um, oh yeah, I I define the uh, I define as uh, unsigned integers all the keys that are used. So I don't maybe let the player you know change keys. Uh, mid game, if uh, yeah, that could be an option there. Um, let's see, all these things are constants. Create display layer objects. Uh, I have these uh, organized into uh, basically groups of layers. I have a menu layer, a battle layer, which I haven't started yet, and a world layer. And within each of those, I, I have different sprites which act as sub layers. So the world has uh, you know a terrain layer. A wall layer, and then the character layer, which is where you know the hero goes on right now. Walls can lay on top of terrains. Like in this uh, in this example, the, the only wall in this world is a tree, and there are two types of tr terrain: grass and water. And uh, here, worlddata.as, I'm using uh, embedded XML. So, like, I declare a new XML object, and then ju just you know spit out the XML here. Um, I got a structure in my uh, root structure is world data. I got a structure for screen. Each screen has, you know, belongs to a, an area, test area, um, and then a coordinate within that area. 
So the, the coordinates are important so you know when you walk off the edge of the screen you know, to go to the next, you know, to the adjacent room. Um, you know, it's, it, they're all in test area right now, but they might be in different areas, like if this were an actual game, um, you know, uh, planes, uh, ice tower, um, town A, whatever. Um, I define a terrain wall palette that has combinations of terrain and wall that exist within the map. And then tiles, uh, each tile has a group of rows, and each row, you know, this shows me basically, uh, you know, cell by cell what this room is made of. Like each zero in this uh, cell represents uh, a tile that is, uh, you know, that has terrain zero and wall zero. Each one within this, uh, you know, within this cell tells me that, you know, the tile has terrain zero and wall one. Um, so, so yeah, you can sort of see visually, you know, how, e how each room is laid out and, you know, how the doors are defined, doors that, you know, lead sometimes from one, from one area to another. And if I, if I wanted to change this, like this is the area right to the, uh, to the left, and if I, I can, I can just, I can wall this off if I want to, and then zero, for index zero, instead of terrain zero, I want to make this terrain one, so it'll be like all, uh, you know, trees on top of water. And I'll, I'll make terrain, I'll make terrain one here, so, so. So I just changed that little bit of XML that's embedded, and um, test movie. So let's go to the right, and, I mean to the left. Oh, the right, see, here we go. And you know, just just by doing that, I made that little change, and it, so it's, it's very easy. And this, all this XML, you know, I could easily just build like a program, like a PHP script, maybe, to generate this off a database, and uh, you know, paste it into my program. Which is what I tried to do with the uh, you know HKMC engine that I was working on a couple years ago, but it is uh, is just too unwieldy. Um, all right, so let's let's undo those changes that we just made there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I mean this is uh, this is something that I'm working on. I, I just I just wanted to make a you know video to to talk about it in a document. And I already I already showed a couple of people. And they seemed to seem to think it was impressive. But, I mean this is something I'm building from scratch. The, the HKNC engine had like parts that I copied from other scripts, like the the Tony Pod tutorials. But no, this this is this is all me, and I'm using E4X uh, XML parsing. In my world load screen, which wor world load screen basically takes you know it takes a screen you know, from uh, from my world data and you know turns it into turns it into you know this uh, you know, a game screen. Um, so yeah, uh, basically you can just walk around and you know navigate to different areas, and I can you know design an XML. I, ca I can make worlds as big as I want, and. Uh, so I mean stuff stuff like uh, you know battling menus, interacting with uh, NPCs, um, artificial intelligence for uh, enemy characters. These are all things I'm sort of thinking of. I don't really have a plan right now, or you know anybody working with me on this game. Um, uh, well, I got I, my friend uh, Kyla Sebastian uh, has been helping me with uh, you know, with some of these code ideas because I'm I, I really haven't finished a project with AS3 yet. It's it's kind of new to me. I mean I understand how it works. It's is really fun. And once I got into it, I was able to accomplish a lot. You know, within within a couple days. Um, so so yeah. I mean that's uh, is uh, available on my website. It's the uh, the uh, Asa uh, tile engine. Or I forgot what I called it. And uh, you can, if you're interested in this project, I'll be posting updates on my website. You know, once once I figure out which direction I'm going to go with this. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I don't know if I'm going to make this public or not. I'll, I'll probably just shove it up on my YouTube. Um, but yeah, this is Matt Pullen, and this is an, a a demonstration of a tile-based flash engine that I'm working on.